Welcome to the 211th. Here's a quick video on the key clicking and key mapping commands that I have flushed through on the Kiowa. So in the controls here, we're under the pilot. I uh, just wanted to show you some basic setup. We want to get our throttle mapped. You don't technically have to, but that's good for startup. Then you have your collective, your uh, pitch and roll which I just wanted to show you my dead zone and curve. And then finally the rudder pedals. And that's it for axis stuff. So let's take a look at our options. We're going to go to special, then down to OH58. And here you're going to see that I have fade in, fade out for both a cyclic trimmer and the pedal trimmer type. Next, we're going to go over miscellaneous and turn off force feedback as I'm using a VKB and I am not using any type of force feedback system. So key mapping, we have trimmer reset and force trim interrupt. What this does is the force trim interrupt will set your controls in the position that you're currently holding for rudder and cyclic. And when you let go, it will hold and that's the new center. When you press the reset button, what it'll do is it will pull um, your trim reset back to center. Ensure that the force trim switch is on and hydraulics is up. So a little hack that I've found is if you use your rudder left and right as a four-way hat, you can use that to trim your rudder left and right if you're having issues with the rudder trim. SCAS settings. So this is more for engaging and disengaging your heading and then using that button to flip your uh, trimming left and right on that heading tape. This one's not really that important, but you can choose to use this or not. Here we're going to switch over to all but axis commands. First one is the trigger one and two detent. This is for firing. Uh, I would map both of them. If you can't, just map second detent. Next, we have the weapon select switch. Uh, left and right is select left and right pylon from position of the pilot. And up is for the ASE page, and down is for the weapons configuration page. For activating your laser on your gun, uh, I bound that to a trigger switch on the front of my trigger guard. I'm a big fan of having a flare dispense switch button mapped. Put that in an easy, convenient position. I have these bound to a thumb switch on the cyclic four-way hat. So I have a uh, push to transmit and a UHF VHF bound to a uh, thumb on my throttle, my Warthog throttle. I find that helpful for communicating in game, uh, unless you're using SRS. Uh, I just bound those to the same things with SRS. For this one, I bound Bob up as a thumb press on one of my four way hats and that helps drop a mark on the map. All right, this should get you started with uh, the very basics. Uh, and I would recommend you go watch a couple of Casmo's videos um, as he does a very good job explaining these systems in detail. Thanks.